Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, back up to the Great White North for another quick hitter, another update on what is going on in the Great Canadian Mob War that has turned into the Great Canadian Mafia versus Hells Angels War. Um, it's absolute insanity up there. And uh, every day there's new news to report, and uh, today is no different. In the week or so following the reports that uh, Jean-Philippe Celestine, a.k.a. The Butcher, um, the street gang leader of the Rizzuto mob uh, street gang faction, jumped ship and is now with the Hells Angels uh, side of this war, has patched into the Marauders Motorcycle Club, which is a Hells Angels support club. This is all announced in the Canadian media over the last couple of weeks. And then just this past weekend on Friday morning the man that allegedly stabbed a Celestine crew member to death at a in a strip club brawl last month he's in jail right now facing charges his house was shot up uh this past weekend and uh the name of the dead Celestine crew member is Jesse Furtado Bernard uh was stabbed uh, in the North Shore section of Montreal last month, the same weekend that Celestine's parents' house was shot up. Um, Furtado Bernard was in a bar fight at a strip club called Ogascones and was stabbed to death with a broken beer bottle. Sebastian Leduc was arrested. Um, he is facing manslaughter charges. We're not positive if this has anything to do with the acrimony between Hells Angels and Rizzuto mob, or this was just, you know, you bumped into me at a club that didn't show me proper respect, and that ends up in a brawl with with people being taken to the hospital. In the case of Furtado Bernard um, succumbing to his wounds in that fight, um, but Leduc's house was was shot up. Um, we're not exactly sure what this means. Is this, you know, an empowered? Jean-Philippe Celestine now with the Hells Angels firmly behind him, uh, taking vengeance on the people that came after him these last couple months, killed his brother, as we know, uh, Brandon uh, Jean-Philippe Celestine. Um, so there's still a lot more questions and answers, but more violence, more shootings this past weekend, Sebastian Leduc's house uh, in Laval, you know, that, that very swanky, North suburb of Montreal, where a lot of these mob guys live, and uh, you know, there's that old saying, you know, you shouldn't uh, shit where you eat. Well, there's a lot of shitting going on in Laval the last year or so, um, related to this feud between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob. A lot of these uh, murders and hits have taken place in and around, or should, I should say, a lot of these uh, hits and shootings have taken uh, place in and around. Laval. Um, so is this John Philippe Celestine flexing his muscles uh, as, you know, a, a new member of the, the Hells Angels side and going after people that harmed him and his loved ones? Is this some other type of message? We don't know, but I just wanted to report that. But uh, you got to be wondering right now, is there a some type of tap out coming from the Rizzuto side of this? Uh, just to make peace and maybe, I don't know, ha have some changeover in leadership to appease the Hells Angels. Um, I don't know, but it, it, the options are getting fewer and far between for the Rizzutos right now. And uh, as they get weaker, the Hells Angels are getting stronger. Uh, and Celestine's enemies now look like they're also Hells Angels enemies right now. Even if the people that were his enemies before were Hells Angels, now... Those enemies have the Hells Angels to deal with. It's, you know, the ever-evolving landscape in Canada. If you like what we're what we're doing here at the OG Podcast, please uh, like, subscribe, share, spread the news. Um, we will always be giving you the latest breaking news in the underworld here in North America. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out. Mm -hmm.